All right then, gang. So I just want to do a very quick lesson now on CSS in React. So there's a few different ways we can use CSS in React. And one of the ways is to create a CSS file for each individual component. So for example, I could create a CSS file for this component right here. And I would do that by going to new file and just saying ninjas.css. And then in here, I could have some kind of CSS. So I could say body background is going to be, I don't know, uh, pink, whatever. So if I save this now, what I could do, if I wanted this using in a particular component, I could go to that component and I could import it at the top. So I could say import and we're importing this thing right here. We don't need to import it as something or anything like that. We just need to import the file itself. So in quotations, dot forward slash to say the current directory, then it's ninjas.css. So if I save this now and go over to the browser, then we're going to see that the body has a pink background. Now, notice this. If I import CSS into here, it doesn't mean that the CSS is only going to be active for these things over here. The CSS will also be active for any other code on our page at that moment in time. So anything inside this file and anything inside the add ninja component as well. So for example, inside here, I could say form and then background is going to be FFF. So white and also the padding is going to be 20 pixels as well. Now, if I do that, I'm importing this CSS into the ninjas file right here, not into the add ninja file, which has the form in it, but that doesn't matter. I'm importing it into this file, which means whenever this component is showing, that CSS is going to be output to the screen. Okay. So it doesn't matter that I'm not importing it into the form component. That doesn't matter. That CSS is still going to be imported onto the page and take effect for other components as well. Now, I suppose you could get around this by just adding this class or something like that around um, this right here. So I could say ninjas, and now it's only going to take effect for any form inside this div right here, inside the ninjas component. Now, there isn't a form inside there, so it's not going to you know, style anything at the minute, but at least then we're scoping our styles a little bit, and it's not going to appear everywhere. So a good thing about using these kind of CSS files is that it automatically adds vendor prefixes for us where we need them. So for example, I could say transition and all and one second. All right. Now, if we need vendor prefixes on this thing right here, we don't have to worry about them when we're writing the CSS React takes care of that for us. And I'll show you that if I go to elements and then I go up to the head over here. So I'm expanding the head come down to the bottom, we'll see this style right here, which we've added. Now, if you look inside the body tag where we added that transition, we can see the transition, but also it's added any kind of vendor prefixes that we need for that. So that's pretty cool. It does that automatically. Now, another way of using CSS is to just use index.css and that's going to apply everywhere. We don't need to import it into any of the components. It's just going to auto apply everywhere or we could use CSS modules as well. Now, to do this, we need to edit our configuration files. And I really don't want to do this right here, but I will leave a link to a good guide on how to do that if you want to. And maybe in the future as well, I'll do a video on how to do this ourselves. But for now, I just wanted to show you those couple of ways of how you can add CSS to your React application.